Hi DIYers, Joe from Alarm Grid here, and today we're going to talk about how to, a, how to add a 5800 RP to a Lynx Touch panel. Now, a 5800 RP doesn't have to be programmed in for it to work. As soon as you plug it in, it's going to start providing that repeating function. And what that does is actually repeat any 345 megahertz signal that it hears, so you get an extended range on your sensors. If you do want to program it into the panel, what that'll do for you is that when a trouble condition occurs on the 5800 RP, it's going to show up on your panel. Now there's two different ways to program it in. You can have it occupy one zone in programming, and if you do this, all of the trouble conditions will come in on that one zone, or you can break it off and have four different zones programmed for it for all of its uh, trouble conditions. That's the recommended way to do it because it's gonna give you much more detailed information about what's wrong with the 5800 RP. If you do program it in using one zone, all of the trouble conditions will come under that one zone, and what you're gonna see is that if there's a AC loss or an RF jam, it's still gonna show up as a low battery check-in on the system, but it won't trigger an alarm just in case the system is armed when this occurs. Again, the recommended way to do this though is to break them all off into individual zones, which is what we're gonna show you how to do today. Again, when we do program it in, you're gonna see what it looks like when we do program it in as one zone. And then we're gonna to have to do something on the 5800 RP to access the second serial number on the unit to get the other zones in. But let's take a look at the 5800 RP and let's get into zone programming on our Lynx Touch and then we'll take it from there. So we have our 5800 RP open and as you can see, the serial number is printed right here on the board. Now, if you're just gonna use the one zone for trouble reporting, all you're gonna have to do is program in this serial number to the system and name it appropriately. What you're also gonna see us do later is we're gonna move dip switch number two. If you're just using the one serial number or if you're programming it in or starting to program in all your trouble zones, you're gonna want that dip switch two to be off. So as you can see, it is off right now. So let's go over to our Lynx Touch and get into zone programming. So on a Lynx Touch, let's go to Tools, enter the installer code 4112, Program, and then Zones. Let's go down so we get a whole new fresh set of zones. I'm going to click zone number 7 and click Edit. Now, like any other sensor, to learn this in, we're going to click on Serial Number, and now the system is in learning mode. So heading back over to our 5800 RP, I'm going to click the tamper switch, and then I'm going to release it. I got one beep, I'm gonna do it again. I got two beeps, and you can see the serial number uh, has shown up on the system. I'm gonna do it a third time. And we get three beeps, and it is learned in. Now, if we were to just use this one zone for all of our trouble reporting, this is all the programming that we would have to do. And what we're gonna do is set it to we're going to name it first so we know what it is, and we'll do low bat check-in. Fifty-eight hundred RP. Done. It's going to be loop number one. Device type we're going to set to other, and then for the response type. We're going to set this to 24 hour auxiliary. Supervision is going to be supervised. Uh, alarm report, we're probably going to want that on. And we're all set. So we click save. And now we have the 5800 RP programmed in to work on that one zone. So again, if we just left it like this, if there was an AC loss or an RF jam, those would show up with zone number seven with this info, but it wouldn't set the system off uh, if it was armed into alarm. But we want to have more detailed information when there is a trouble on our 5800 RP. So what we're gonna do is head back over to our 5800 RP, and we're gonna set dip switch number two to on. What this does is it switches it to the second serial number, which is the existing serial number plus one. So it's gonna be 0750154 now. This is gonna give us those three additional zones to program in the other trouble conditions. So back on our, uh, on our Lynx Touch, we're gonna to select a new zone, click Edit. Just like before, we're gonna click Serial Number to put the system into Learn Mode. And then back on our 5800RP, 
we're going to click the tamper switch just like before. So I'm going to click it, let go, click it again, let go. As you can see, that is the serial number that we want. It's the serial number that's on the board, plus one. I'm going to click it again and let go. Now, as this is the first zone of the new zones, or the, the second set of zones for our trouble conditions, this is actually going to occupy the, uh, or this is going to work as our tamper trouble. So what I'm going to do is enter tamper. Kate. 5800 RP. Device type, I'm going to set this to other. The response type, I'm going to do day night. What this is, is trouble by day and alarm by night. This means that if the system is disarmed, it's going to create a trouble. If the system is armed, it will go into alarm. An important thing that we do have to do is set the supervision on this to unsupervised. The, these three zones from the second serial number, they're all going to be set to unsupervised. And it's important that you do set that as that, or else you're going to get some weird conditions and it's going to be very frustrating. So now I'm going to click on save to confirm our programming. And we're going to do the next two trouble zones. So I'm going to click on the next open zone, click edit, click on serial number to put it into learn mode, and then back on our 5800 RP, I'm going to do the same thing. Click the tamper, let it go. One beep, we'll click the tamper, let it go. We got two beeps, click the tamper, let it go. We get three beeps. So now we're working with the second trouble zone of this set of, uh, of, of zones that we're programming. We go to our links touch. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set loop number to number two. And this is actually gonna work as our AC loss zone. So I'm gonna do A, C. Eh, I'll put it all in this. Loss, 5800 RP. Device type, we're going to set this to other. The response type, we're actually going to do 24 hour auxiliary. And again, we're going to want to make sure that we set the supervision to unsupervised. So now that we have that locked in, we're going to click save. And then we're going to program in our last uh, trouble zone. So I'm going to click the next, the next open zone, click on edit, serial number to load up the learn mode. And then again, on our 5800 RP, I'm going to click the tamper, let it go. Click the tamper again, let it go. Click the tamper one more time, and let it go. Now we have our third trouble zone of the second set programmed in. So our loop number for this one is going to be loop number three. And then the zone description is going to be RF jam. So RF. Jam, 5800 RP. Again, our device type is going to be other. And then the response type for this one, again, is going to be 24-hour auxiliary. And again, we're going to want to set our supervision to unsupervised. Go ahead and click Save. And now, as you can see, all the trouble conditions that could occur on the 5800 RP will show up as their own individual zones, which will make it much easier to troubleshoot if anything happens to it. Before you do back out of programming though, I do recommend that you clip the cover back on the 5800 RP because that will give you an immediate trouble if the tamper is, uh, isn't pushed in. All, to do, all you have to do to do this is hook it into the back plate, swing it down, and close it. Now in programming, click the back arrow, click the back arrow. You always want to say yes to allow installer to re-enter programming. Click the back arrow. And we're all set. We're getting a system trouble because of the low battery, but as you can see, nothing on the 5800 RP is popping up, telling us that we're good to go. That's how to add a 5800 RP to a Lynx Touch panel. If you have any questions about this process, the 5800 RP, or the panel itself, feel free to head over to our website, www.alarmgrid.com. Send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com or give us a call at 888-818-7728. Did enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe. And if you want to be notified when we post future videos, hit the notification button below and we'll send you an update when we do so. Thanks for watching and have a great day.